Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Moomoo Moo Player in PG Sharp and fix any errors that you might be having. This is going to be an updated tutorial for the last two that I've made because there's a lot of issues going around and I'm going to show you guys how to fix them. So you can go ahead and skip to the end for all of the fixes slash errors that I'm going to go over. But at the moment, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install Moomoo Moo Player and PG Sharp. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is search up Moomoo Moo space player. And we're going to click on the first link, the very first link. And we wait for the website to load. And what we're going to do is click Moomoo Moo Player 6. Download Moomoo Moo Player 6, not 12. 6, or else it won't work. It's going to prompt you this page, and you're just going to go ahead and click install. This is my sixth time installing this, so that's why it says 6 at the end. But then you're just going to click on the file, click yes, allow it to set up. And we're going to click quick install because custom install is just where you want it to be on your PC, like the file location. So I went ahead and clicked quick install because it's just gonna be in my regular system program. And it'll take a few minutes to install. I went ahead and skipped this part. Um, it takes about two, three minutes to install the whole thing. So, just a disclaimer, it's going to be a little bit slow. Moomoo Moo Player itself, um, it's going to crash a lot. That's just because they stopped updating Moomoo Moo Player 6. It's an outdated version of Moomoo Moo Player 12. But it actually is the only emulator that currently works with Pokemon Go and PG Sharp. So it's about to finish here. And once it does, the very first thing we're going to go ahead and do once the emulator starts up is disable the default browser. Um, before it shows this emulator starting screen, it's going to prompt you to a Facebook page. You can just exit out of that. I cut that part out. But the reason we disable the default browser, which is very important, is because the default browser will give you an access blocked error if you try to log into Pokemon Go with Google. And the default browser on Moomoo Moo Player doesn't let you. So you can just click X on log into Google Play right there and go to settings and then give it a second. And when you're in settings, you're gonna click on apps. Apps. And then we're going to click on browser and then disable and then disable it. And then we're going to go ahead and click on play store and sign in. It kicked me out a few times during this process. So I go really quickly here. And we're just going to click, I'll be using this device and then agree. And then you can go ahead and uncheck the backup data because it's for like, reasons security so you're gonna go to google play store it kicked me out there you're gonna search up chrome because we disabled the default browser we need to install google chrome so we have a browser and this is gonna take a few minutes as well to install so just give it a second all right we're gonna open it like accept and continue and use the same account I didn't turn on sync, I don't think, but it'll sync just has the same settings as you would on any other device. So we're going to search up PG Sharp. I already had it searched up. Um, you're going to click on the first link with the little star logo and we're going to scroll down to downloads. We're not going to click on the blue download button. We're going to click on previous version at the very bottom because <laughs> at the moment, all the other download links don't work. So it's going to take you to Mega, and we're going to click on the three dots, the ellipsis, and click download. And that's the ARM64 version, which is what you're supposed to use with an emulator. Um, but 
the reason it doesn't work at the moment is because PD Sark sucks. The new update broke a lot of things. So for me, it says download again, but for you guys, it'll just say download. Once it's done, you're going to open it up and you're just going to click install. And this part just takes a few seconds, but once it's done, you're just going to click open and it should work from here. Any other errors, um, I'll explain at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and hide my trainer name just because I don't want to get reported just in case I send any screenshots of me feed to anyone. And we're going to click under the year 2005, click returning player because I'm a returning player and sign in with Google. I'm going to sign in with the account I signed in with earlier and it's going to log me in. It'll take a few seconds. It varies for everyone. Just wait and then it's going to load you in. So it's going to spawn you into Bryant Park in New York City. I recommend not spinning any Pokestops or catching any Pokemon just in case you might be on cooldown. So I suggest waiting two hours before you actually play. Or if you know you're not on cooldown, you can go ahead and start spoofing like I'm doing right now. So it comes with a joystick. It comes with a bunch of cool features. It's PG Sharp. They have um, a list of features on their website. Um, it's a little laggy, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that. I'm going to go to settings and then we're going to click on advanced settings at the bottom. And what we're going to do is click on native refresh rate. It's going to make the game run a little bit smoother. Um, it'll look a little bit smoother in a second. <laughs> so you can go ahead and tweak all the settings you want. Um, a lot of these features are for premium users only. Uh, it's $5 on the website. So I recommend getting it, but as you can see here, it works completely fine. You can go ahead and catch whatever Pokemon you want. And I'm going to go ahead and catch this Voltorb here because why not? Um, as you can see, I'm not on cooldown, so the Pokemon's not going to flee. <laughs> um, so I went ahead and caught it here. But be safe. Make sure that you follow all the rules um cooldown etc i suggest hiding your trainer name just in case you want to send any screenshots to your friends and if you have any other errors i'm going to go ahead and explain them right now um as to why you would have certain errors so i'm going to go ahead and show which errors can occur so we have the infinite pokeball spinning error we also have the 70 percent loading screen error that just infinite loads it doesn't go anywhere and then we also have the access blocked error that one is a very easy fix nobody should be having that issue um then we have the no magic abyss error and we also have the app not installed error so first one i'm going to go over is the infinite pokeball loading and also i'm going to go over the 70 percent loading screen or this kind of ties in together if your game pokemon go crashes after you try to log in or load in um, and it just doesn't let you in the game i'll go ahead and show you guys how to fix that one too basically what we're gonna do is delete the current version of PG Sharp that you have, you're going to go to PG Sharp website, bottom of the page, and install previous installation. That's going to take you to the mega website and then give you the file for you to download. Um, I explained this part in the tutorial. That is a new thing that you have to do because the current versions of PG Sharp are having issues with the emulator and it's only because pg sharp itself doesn't really support emulator usage of the apk so you're there's really nothing you could do there other than just try and figure out how to make the app work so that's how to fix those issues and i'm gonna explain how to fix the apk and app not installed errors so for here, what we're going to do is 
completely uninstall Moomoo Player from the PC. To do this, you have to go to Control Panel and then uninstall a program, and then we're gonna click on Moomoo Player and then delete it. And then you have to reinstall Moomoo Player by going to the website and clicking on the Updates tab, which is at the very top. They have different sections like a support tab, blog tab, and whatnot. You're gonna click on the updates one and then you're gonna install Moomoo 6 for 64 bit. Because if you install the 86 bit version of Moomoo Player, it's gonna be incompatible with a lot of different apps, not just Pokemon Go. So you're gonna go ahead and make sure it is the 64 bit version. And you also have to make sure that the PG Sharp version you have is the correct installation because if you don't, the app not installed error or the APK no matching abyss can also occur. Um, typically, these errors only pop up when you got the wrong version of Moomoo Player or the wrong version of PG Sharp, but a lot of these can be fixed by just installing the right version of each. So now I'm going to explain to you guys the very last error that nobody really should be having but it it happens so all right in order to fix this issue access blocked request does not comply with google's policies um you just follow the video i explained this in like one of the first steps i'm pretty sure it's step two um, because step one is installing Moomoo Player. And during step two, you have to disable the default browser. And the reason we do that is because this error will pop up if you don't disable it. It's a mandatory step. Um, it won't let you log in at all through Google if you don't. So make sure that you disable the default browser and then install Google Chrome from the Google Play Store. So these are gonna be some uncommon errors that may occur in the beginning of installing Moomoo Player. This, these errors typically happen when this is your first time downloading an emulator. Um, some PCs, some newer PCs have hyper virtualization enabled. Um, same thing with Windows 11. Um, now the error where it says hyper V enabled, that one is only for Moomoo 12. So if you have Moomoo 12 and you're trying to install PG Sharp, it's not going to work because you need Moomoo 6 for this tutorial. Now, if you come across an error um, that says your VT is not on or CPU virtualization needs to be turned on, that is an issue because there's a setting in the BIOS that needs to be enabled. Um, or else Moomoo Moo Player won't run. So in order to fix these, you're going to have to go and search up what kind of um, motherboard you have or what kind of PC you have. If you have like a pre-built office PC or something, um, you have to search up how to enter the BIOS. And usually it's a setting like it has different names, but it'll be called virtualization or SVT mode or things like that. Um, the Moomoo Moo Player website actually has a support page on how to enter the BIOS on different computers and what the setting might be called because like I said, it's different for different PC brands. So if you guys come across any of these errors, I suggest following my video on how to fix them. Um, that's going to be it for this video. I also have a text list for frequently asked questions on how to fix other simple little mini issues. Um, I'll also include how to fix these errors that I just listed in text as well if it's a little bit more difficult listening. So thank you for watching and bye-bye.